As coronavirus continues to impact our world and change our ways of living, one big question still being debated is what schools will look like in the fall. While officials consider what to do, 23 ABC's Veronica Morley spoke with teachers who have been using virtual reality to keep their students engaged with more on how it can help bring lessons to life when students are stuck at home. This next school year will probably look unlike any other, with many students using a setup just like this at home. But just because students are at home doesn't mean they can't still have a fully immersive learning experience. And then it's really hands-on, so it's something that's really new to the students. So um, there's a, 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 a nice, cool little, like, oh, this is so new, but also they get a great learning experience from it. That's Eric Garcia, a teacher at Browning Road Steam Academy in McFarland. Garcia is no stranger to using virtual reality in his classroom and says it's a tool that helps bring the lessons to life and develop students' social and emotional learning skills. Not all students learn the same way. You have students that uh, do fine with just reading a book, but when they see that, that, um, that plant that has the roots and they're able to look under it, through it, around it, and, and actually really hands-on experience, it really um, brings out those students who have a hard time reading, have a hard time learning in a book. Now we're gonna talk about electrons. It's going to take you to the electrons part. For Garcia, he's not just teaching a lesson. He's helping his students develop skills like empathy, compassion, and understanding. VR really helps out not only students who have uh, learning disabilities, but also students who have language problems, who have uh, social emotional uh, problems, who also um, have, have never been outside the little bubble and learn about different cultures. And when I take them to a different part of the world and they see this, like they, it's a wow factor. With the coronavirus pandemic leaving many questions surrounding the next school year, many teachers have had to start thinking about how to keep students engaged from afar, especially those who already struggle in the classroom. And when it comes to teaching these social skills, teachers like Trisha Fugelstead say virtual and augmented reality can help students connect lessons to their emotions. In um, third grade, we made color monsters, which are based on the book called the color monster, where the monster is exploring what emotions are and connecting emotions to color. How are you feeling? Are you scared? Are you calm? Fugelstead said she has just started exploring the use of augmented reality this past year, but the more her students experience their projects coming to life, the more eager they are to learn. And it started to empower my students when they think about the possibilities. And for Garcia, virtual reality not only helped his students learn history and science, but they were learning to work together. For students who have a learning disability, dyslexia or anything like that, um, when they're working with other students, they're usually, even though they have their own goggles, they're working with other students, they're working together. And that's the part that they, a lot of my students who have disabilities really excel in when they're not, it's just not them learning. They're learning with, uh, with their group that they have. Now, if you would like to learn more about virtual or augmented reality, we have a list of programs as well as some free virtual tours on our website, turn to 23.com. For 23 ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, connecting you. In other news, cooling centers in Bakersfield